First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Roka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim pushing this truth and sincerity. And as most of you already know, uh, there was a shooting in Buffalo, New York. Okay, so I want to read this article and get some precepts. Lord willing, this will be edifying. It says, Buffalo shooting. 10 dead in racially motivated attack at New York State store. Okay, and you can look this up when you get a chance on the BBC News. Okay. And it says uh, an 18-year-old white man has shot dead 10 people in a black neighborhood of New York State. And what authorities are calling a, ro a racially motivated attack. The man... Named as Peyton Gendron in court papers, was arrested after a standoff at the scene, a supermarket in the city of Buffalo. He began firing in the store's car park before entering and continuing his rampage, streaming the attack online. U.S. President Joe Biden condemned what he described as an abhorrent act. We are investigating this incident as both a hate crime and a case of racially motivated violent extremism you see that they're calling it racially motivated violent extremism okay that's how this is being investigated said stephanie balangia from the fbi's buffalo office adding there was evidence of racial animosity and you notice how uh they put racial animosity in parentheses, okay? So, you know, it's coming to a point where, you know, if you say anything um, that, you know, if you have any kind of remarks based on or against a race, you know, you, you're going to be um, labeled as a, what? An extremist, Okay. And in this case, they're calling this guy a racially motivated, violent extremist. Okay, so do you see how they play? Okay, on situations, you know. It says GPS News reported that the attacker shouted racial slurs during the shooting and suggested that he had a racial slur written on his weapon. He also apparently posted a manifesto online which included racist language and ideas. Okay, and, and see, you know, this guy was uh, streaming online, all right? So, you know, that's going to call for them to want to, you know, end the internet, you know? That's going to call for them to want to, you know, censor, you know, uh, YouTube and other platforms because... Uh, you know, hey, brothers go live, okay, and this guy went live right before he started shooting up the um, the store, okay, and uh, if you haven't seen the video, it, it, it's still out there, you know, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty rough, man, you know, um, it kind of looks like a video game, because all you see is like his weapon, okay, in front of him, right, and then, um, you know, obviously you see the, see the people that he's shooting, you know what I'm saying, and he had... He had nigger, you know, uh, I guess painted in white on the weapon. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, this this could be an enchantment. You know, we, we believe, you know, Esau has the uh, the ability to make um, assassins, okay? If you watch that movie, Manchurian Candidate, the first, the first one, it shows you that, that the government has... Um, ways to make uh um you know people kill people under what under under uh mind control okay and it's not far-fetched man esau's just you know he's into everything okay so um you, you know and you can see the video like i said it's online you know it, it's pretty it's pretty uh gruesome it's not for the faint you know he went in there you know and you know started shooting people straight up you know so it says um, he also apparently posted a manifesto online, which included racist language and ideas. 
You know how interesting, you know. They make sure to put that, you know, on there that he was, you know, posting stuff online that was racially motivated, right? It says bodies everywhere. Witness tell of Buffalo attack horror. FBI hate crime report spike to 12 year high in 2020. Right? There's a lot of crime. There is a lot of crime right now. A lot of shootings, you know. Um, well, I can say, you know, in Arizona. Okay, where I'm from, there's a lot of shootings going on every day, you know, and the stories are getting more crazier, more bizarre, you know. It says U.S. gun culture in seven charts. The suspect is believed to have driven for, for some 200 miles to reach the predominantly black area of the city. Three people were shot dead in the car park and the other seven were killed inside the supermarket. Police said most of the victims were black. He exited his vehicle. He was very heavily armed. He had tactical gear. He had a tactical helmet on. He had a camera that he was live streaming what he was doing. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joseph Gramaglia told reporters. He said the suspect surrendered his weapon after a tense standoff and was taken into custody. He later appeared in court charged with first degree murder. Three more people, all supermarket staff, were wounded in the shooting but not did not sustain life threatening injuries. A retired police officer named in local media as Aaron Salter was working as a security guard in the store and was shot dead in the attack. Police said he had tried to shoot the suspect who then shot him dead. Okay. And that's the man I, I believe that's gone viral right here. This guy, Aaron Salter. A lot of people are, um, you know, they have been um, posting his picture. Two of the other people killed have been named in the local paper as Ruth Whitfield and Catherine Massey. A church deacon who's worked as a driver was also killed. Buffalo News reports. And this is this is uh, the devil right here. You know, uh, Peyton Gendron, you know, a.k.a. Esau. Right here, as you see, in court charged with first degree murder. And uh, he's a teen, okay? I believe. I believe he's a teenager, if I'm not mistaken. But it says, uh, this is the worst nightmare that any community can face. We are hurting. We are seething right now, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown told reporters. We cannot let this hateful person divide our community or our country, he added. Grady Lewis, who witnessed the attack from across the street, told local media that he saw the man open fire. I saw the guy go in army style, bent over, just shooting at people, he said. Chanel Harris, who was working in the shop during the attack, told Buffalo News that she heard more than 70 shots as she ran to escape the building through a back door. The store was full. It was the weekend, she said. It feels like a nightmare. Describing the aftermath of the attack, one police officer told Buffalo News, it's like walking onto a horror movie, but everything is real. It's Armageddon-like. It says, gunman drives from home in Conklin to carry out the attack. Okay. Yeah. So he drove from Conklin to Buffalo to carry out the attack. Shooting. So, so here's a little diagram they have here. That's interesting. They have a diagram. They even have a, nap, a map with a quest on it. I mean, what do you call it? The uh, the little thing in the corner that you can measure. I believe it's a quest. Yeah. Um, that's interesting, you know. How they're doing that. Hey, you know, these devils send messages to each other. They could be, uh, you know, gloating, if you will. Later on Saturday, New York Governor Kathy Ho Hochul said the suspect was a white supremacist who has engaged in an act of terrorism. This was a military style execution targeting people who simply wanted to buy groceries in a neighborhood store, she said while visiting Buffalo. In a statement, US President uh, Creepy Joe said he and f the First Lady were paying, praying for the victims and their families. A racially motivated hate crime is abhorrent to the very fabric of this nation, he said, and that's a lie, okay? The, the the very fabric of this nation was built on 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 hate crimes. That's hypocrisy. It says we must do everything in our power to end and f hate fuel domestic terrorism. You see, bingo. This is what Creepy Joe said. We must do everything in our power to end hate fuel domestic terrorism. And of course, he's going to say that because they 
have everything on lock. They see the YouTube videos going up every day. They see the, the live streams. They see um, the internet. They have people that are monitoring these things 24-7, uh, right? What are they saying? FB, uh, Facebook, and uh, Instagram, okay? They're now one entity, I believe. So now they're, they're calling it FBI, you know, that they've even said that social media is um, basically tracking, okay, and building profiles on people who they th deem is a threat, all right? So if you're posting things on um, on Facebook or um, social media, Instagram, you know, whatever, you know, wherever you post, um, they know about it, you know? As a matter of fact, when they flag things, don't think that, you know, they're not putting... Um, you know, comments or, or, or putting you on a list, you see? But yeah, they want to do everything in their power to end hate, fuel domestic terrorism, all right? So they can, uh, you know, call, uh, you know, the Hebrew Israelites um, a hate group, you know? They, 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 they want to lump us in that category, right? But we're just reading the scriptures, you know? the script And the scriptures are for who? The nation of Israel, all right? The so-called blacks, the Latinos, the Native Americans, you see? So... Um, this, this could be an enchantment, you know, and, and, and more likely it is. It says hate crimes in the U.S. hit a 12 year high in 2020 with over 10,000 people reporting offenses relating to their race, gender, sexuality, religion or disability. Crimes against Asian and black Americans, particular surge that your FBI figures suggest. Right. The FBI. They're in on they're in on things, man. Don't. You know, make no mistake, as police are not mandated to submit hate crime data to the FBI, those numbers are thought likely to be an undercount. Saturday attack in Buffalo is thought to be the worst mass shooting so far in the U.S. in 2022 and will also further inflame the bitter political battle about gun control in the U.S. Right. Gun control. That's another thing they want to control. The guns. Right. Here it is. Uh, you know, it's, 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 supposedly it's a right to bear arms. But you what? You know, it's hard to buy bullets, you know, you know, it's, it's hard to get a weapon these days, right? Some 40,000 deaths a year involve firearms in America, a figure that includes suicides. Okay. So, uh, yeah, man, this is what's going on in 2022, man. You know, uh, uh, the scriptures say that, um, men shall, uh, Roughly paraphrasing, um, fight with swords in their hands. It tells you that, and uh, let's well, let's get it real quick. Let's not, um, let's not quote it. Let's let's see if we can find it. This is the book of Second Ezra sixteen. Hmm, no. Because right, this is second Ezra fifteen and sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not Salakia. That's not it. Right. So like the one verse up second Ezra 15 and 15 for the sword for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands and you're seeing that you're seeing people standing up and fighting with one another with swords in their hands and the weapon I mean the uh, the the modern day sword is a gun okay And this is speaking of what uh, spiritual Egypt, which is America. All right. And you're seeing that you're seeing, uh, you know, more and more shootings, man, mass shootings. Matter of fact, there was another one in the church in, um, in, in L.A. Right. Let's see if we can find that, that article real quick. Dot 
Yeah, I believe. Laguna Woods church shooting leaves one dead, five hurt. May 15th. You know, so this is what's going on in the world these days. You know, but, um, you know, it's interesting how uh, these devils, right? You know, it's 2022, you know, and they're still, uh, you know, racially motivated killings, okay? And, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, they're just speaking the truth, you know, of the Bible. They're just teaching, all right, the, the, the ancient book that has been hid, you know, the meaning for so many, for so long. And, you know, we're called, you know, a hate group. You know, we're, they say that we're, we're uh, you know, you know, we're uh, fueled by hate or whatnot, you know, but that's far from the case. You know, here is, you know, this is, this is the real uh, hater, you know, right here, you know, Esau. This is the real uh, harbinger of death. All right, this man, you know, like it tells you in that movie, uh, Planet of the Apes. Watch that movie when you get a chance, by the way. And this guy is the real, uh, you know, threat to mankind. This is the plague, all right, of the earth. This is the wicked, all right, Esau, Edom. And he's been the wicked forever, okay? This is uh, the book of Genesis 27 and 41, and Esau hated Jacob, okay, because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay, and, and, and you know, as the story goes, uh, Esau came out first. Okay, and then Jacob. Okay, Esau being the so-called white man and Jacob being um, the progenitor of the 12 tribes. Okay. And... You know, he uh, despised his birthright and he sold his birthright, okay, that's uh, to Jacob. And that's why the scriptures say the elder shall serve the younger because ultimately, you know, although he had a blessing, you know, his blessing is on this side, Oh, you know, and on the world to come, that's when Jacob's blessing will begin, okay, pursuant to the book of Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, six and I think it's verse six, Esau's the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of uh, that followeth, you see. So Jacob, uh, Esau, Salak, uh, Esau, he hated his, he hated his birthright. He hated his blessing, okay, and he sought it to get it back by tears, but it was too late. You know what was decreed was decreed, and ultimately, as the Book of Romans, uh, the ninth chapter tells you, um, you know the two having done no no uh, evil, you know. That, you know, election might stand, meaning that, you know, the will of the Heavenly Father, you know, was going to come to pass. You know, they had not even been born. Okay. You know, Jacob and Esau, twins. They had not even been born, but in the womb, you know, they were enemies. They were fighting. So now is what you see now, a perpetual hatred by one nation against another. Because, you know, Jacob, you know. Even though we know the truth, we don't go out and, um, you know, pick up assault weapons and write a uh, cracker on it and start shooting up a store. We That's just not in our spirit, you see, but it's in their spirit, all right? But the important part, you know, that I that I want to uh, touch on here, it says, the days of, my, of mourning for my father are at hand, then will I slay my brother Jacob. So Esau waited. He, you know, in his mind, he's like, I'm going to wait, you know, for my father Isaac to die. And then I'm going to kill my brother Jacob. Right? It says, and these words of Esau, continuing her elder son, you know, speaking of our foremother, Rebecca, were told to Rebecca. And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said unto him, behold, thy brother Esau as touching thee, doth comfort himself, purposing to kill thee. Okay, so, you know, Rebecca, okay, loving, you know, her baby, 
all right? Her baby Jacob, right? Because, you know, Jake is a mom's boy, right? Um, you know, she told uh, Jacob, you know, your brother, you know, you know, concerning you, you know, he, he's, uh, he's, he's happy with the, with, in his mind, you know, he's, he's fully, uh, uh, content with the fact that, uh, he's going to kill you. That's basically what was said. It says, behold, thy brother Esau as touching thee doth comfort himself purposing to kill thee. All right. So, you know, this guy got charged with premeditated murder. Okay. Cause he drove right from Conklin to Buffalo. And what was he thinking? He was thinking, hey, I'm going to shoot me some Jake's. And what has changed, man? Who, who's the real threat to mankind here? Let's get this word. Strong's Nahem. age, 5162. Nahem. Nahem. To console oneself, to be comforted. Let me get a couple of, uh, definitions. To comfort oneself, to be comforted, to comfort oneself, ease oneself. To comfort, console, to be comforted, consoled. Salakin. All right. To ease oneself, right. <laughs> To avenge oneself, right? They're always trying to, you know, avenge themselves. They're still bitter that they're pasty crackers, all right? And that Jake is the salt of the earth, you see? So, they, they you know, they try to justify in their mind, you know, um, their murdering of their brother. You know, Jacob, you know, his purpose was to kill uh, Jacob, since 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 the times of Genesis, man, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, man. You know, and that's that's obvious, man. Okay. Nothing has changed, man. This. This is uh, Ezekiel 35 and 11. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou has used out of thy hatred against them. You see, the Lord's going to do according to your anger, according to how you moved, you know, according to what, how you, um, you know, You know, killed, you know, your brother. I'm going to do to you, basically. It says, and according to thine envy, which thou used out of thy hatred against him. So, you know, it was envy. You know, they're, they're motivated by anger, uh, envy and hate and anger. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. All right. Or we're going to see it. You know, the nation of Israel will see the fall of their enemies, man. Okay. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given us to consume. Right? We heard the blasphemies, you know? Manifest destiny. It was destiny for uh, whites to rule over blacks and Latinos and Native Americans. You know, the Lord has heard that. You know, he's heard what you've spoken against the tribes, saying they are laid desolate. They're given us to consume, right? Hey, it, it, you know, they were made for us to take over. That's just the way it is. God wants it like that. You know, that's why they had to change the image of God to white, because you can never enslave a people unless you change the color of the Most High. It wouldn't have made sense. Here it is, the Most High's uh, so-called Negro, but yeah, you got the Negroes in in uh, in chains, you know, you're over here, uh, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't have made sense. Therefore, they had to change the color of the Most High. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? Let's see. Right. Uh, we're going to see through the Spirit. We're going to see the downfall of our enemies, man. Okay. This is... Uh, 
Amos 1 and 9, it says, Thus say Yahweh, for three transgressions of Tyrus, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom, and remember not the brotherly covenant. You see? Let's get this in the NLT right quick. It says, this is what Yahweh says. The people of Tyre have sinned again and again, and I will not let them go unpunished. They broke their treaty of brotherhood with Israel, selling whole villages as slaves to Edom. Okay? Yeah. Edom, A, has forget the brotherly covenant. You know, they forgot. That's the point I want to make here. <sighs> They forgot the brotherly covenant. They remember not the brotherly covenant. And you can you the covenant, right? Let's see. Barayath, yep. Strong's H twelve eighty five. Berith. Berith. Right, between men, treaty alliance, league, man to man. Right. Alliance of friendship, right? They, hey, they, hey, they don't believe that, that you know that we're brothers. Uh, let's jump down to eleven. Thus saith Yahweh: For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. So Edom has transgressed, trespassed, has sinned against uh, Israel more than three or four times, but for three or four. The Lord is not going to turn away the punishment. So there's a big judgment because they've done more than three or four transgressions. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. Right? He did pursue his brother with the sword. You know? And did cast off all pity. And his anger did tear perpetually. And he kept his wrath forever. Right? He cast off all pity. And his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. And that, and that, that's that's Esau. That's the state that they're in. That's the my friend that they're in. They cast off all pity. They have no pity for Jake. You see, hey, you see the uh, the baby formula uh, shortage. That's all orchestrated by Esau by these elites. They don't care. They know you, Jakes, make the most babies, man. They know we make babies like a mug. It says, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. You see, he kept his wrath forever. Okay, he, he living proof. And if I'm not mistaken, this 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 is the guy. He's a teen. He's a young man. You know. You see. All right, the Lord isn't going to turn away the punishment, man. Let's go back over here to Ezekiel 35. It says, uh, 35 and 13, Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me, and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. You see, the Lord has heard, all right, your words. Thus saith Yahweh, Thy power when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. You see, when the Lord comes and delivers Israel, they're going to be desolate, man. They're going, they're going back to, uh, uh, you know, to the caveman state. You know, they're going to be taken out of power. This place is going to be destroyed. The palaces, they're, 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 they're uh, living off the fat of the land. They're going to be totally cast down. You know, it's going to be a heap of ruins, and a lot of them are going to go into slavery. So, you know, not all are going to be destroyed. A lot of them are going to go into slavery. They're going to be desolate. They're going to be put in a pit. And then be visited many days after. You see, you're going to be all dirty. Haven't taken a bath. Straight chain slavery like times 10. You know, the scriptures say give them double. Reward them double. So they're going to be desolate, man. Let's look up this word desolate. Desolate. Strong's H, 8077. Shabam. 
Shemama, Shemama, and second entry, Shemama, 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 <laughs> devastation, waste, desolation. Yeah, a figuratively astonishment. Right, they're gonna be like, how the hell did we get into slavery? But they're gonna know, as thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate. So will I do unto thee, thou shalt be desolate. And they rejoiced. They see that the Lord uh, turned his back, and what you know, and, and and blinded us, and we lost our our inheritance. So they helped for the affliction. They helped make it worse. And and their, you know, their their anger did tear perpetually, and they and, and they kept wrath forever. They forgot the brotherly covenant, even to this day. So because they did all that, and they saw that we were desolate, hey, therefore they're gonna be desolate. O Mount Seir and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. You see. O Mount Seir and all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? So I just wanted to bring this out, you know, like as we do, we report on the news through the scriptures. Um, Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rokak Kodash, double honors the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone that rule well in a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwath. Out there, they believe in sincerity. Salawam.